good afternoon chairperson seniors and delegates i am going to discuss a very hot topic that is night postmortem why it is hot because it remains the headline of electronic media and print media after issuance of a circular by ministry of health government of india on dated 15th november 2021 the union health ministry notifies new protocol for postmortem procedure postmortem now can be performed after sunset in hospitals with adequate infrastructure move to benefit those mourning the deceased and organ receivers night postmortem as per my view as learned dr dasari hari sir discuss about the condition of the mortuaries that can not tolerate even the day hey time autopsies it's not possible to conduct the night autopsy as per my view as far as possible post mortem examination should be performed in daylight not in artificial light however night post mortem is not a new issue in the remote past various state governments have issued order to introduce the night post mortem this has led to objection from the forensic medicine experts following facts support the need to conduct the post mortem only in daylight the medical practitioner is expected to establish time of assault time of death and cause of death and they are as certain by observing the stage of healing of wound of the deceased the stage of healing is made out by specific color changes that occur at approximate time in chronological order further certain color changes that occur in the tissues enable a medical practitioner to establish whether the deceased died of jaundice in fraction of visceral organs poisoning and infections that may complicate thermal and mechanical wounds the verification of color matching is more accurate in the natural light than in artificial light the differentiation of various colors under artificial light is misleading only striking color can be made out easily at night under artificial light and note the mixture of faint shades of colors that occur in the wounds during healing the indian population is a mixture of medium and dark complexion people and majority of them are dark complexion when an autopsy is performed at night under artificial light it is difficult task to locate the contusion or bruise in dark complexion individuals since the color of the skin mask the color of bruise in addition during postmortem examination a bruise can be produced as a part of established postmortem artifacts and it has to be distinguished from bruise sustained during life it is argued in support of night postmortem that some countries especially scandinavian countries postmortems are performed at night however it should be realized that in these countries night darkness is only for a short time and they have prolonged twilight which is a good as good as sunlight that can distinguish the faint shades of mixture of colors further even though the postmortem examination during day time is conducted within mortuary with the aid of administered artificial light it cannot be denied that natural light due to its pervasiveness enter through the window in addition when an autopsy is performed at night the mix up of dead bodies due to wrong identification of dead bodies by the relatives is a distinct possibility further when an autopsy is performed on person who have died in gang wars milling crowds would gather creating a law and order problem and a state of delicate apprehension in the minds of the medical practitioner this situation would only be worse at night it may lead to law and order problem and wide mix up of dead bodies in the mortuary maharashtra government had issued the instruction to the effect that post mortem may be done during the night in artificial light if an adequate quantity and quality of artificial light resembling daylight is provided in 1999 due to inadequate lighting which could seriously compromise the quality of police investigations the staffs of nayar and sion hospital mumbai were forced to turn away the bodies brought for autopsies at night 
in tamil nadu also in 1996 post mortem was permitted to be conducted in all government hospitals during night if the claimants of the body insisted and cause of death was due to accidents the order of government of tamil nadu states that post mortems can be conducted at night because cause of death is already well known it is angiometric to say that in cases where the cause of death can be established by clinical examination and other attendant factors the conduct of post mortem can be dispensed with altogether post mortem examination is not a mere formality to be completed mechanically as a matter of routine post mortem requisition is made in medical legal cases only when there is suspicion about the cause of death it should be remembered that autopsies are performed as a part of scientific investigation in adding the administration of justice therefore providing night post mortem services cannot be equated to the absolute and paramount duties of medical practitioner to save the life of a person in emergency situation further very often it is only the politically influential and affluent who are able to obtain permission for night post mortem this strikes at the very root of equal application of law and independence of medical profession more than introducing the night post mortem facilities in the autopsy room should be improved at par with any standard operation theater along with better facilities for cold storage of the bodies and specimen storage and adequate manpower when the government of tamil nadu did not introduce any improved facilities for conducting post mortem during the night director of medical education and director of medical and rural health services expressed the practical difficulties in conducting the post mortems at night and suggested restricting night post mortem only to government hospital chennai the government of tamil nadu accepted their proposal and withdrew that letter but before that the order of government of tamil nadu was stayed by madras high court in 2000 in case of methi aran versus state of tamil nadu represented by its secretary department of health and family welfare currently in tamil nadu the post mortem is conducted from 6 hours to 18 hours on all days and the requisition for autopsy can only be received up to 16 similarly in karnataka in post mortems are performed at night gujarat government permits post mortem at night if it is not a case of poisoning or suspected poisoning if it is not a case of women below 30 years if it is not a case of women dying in her husband or in laws place if the body is not distorted if adequate light resembling daylight is provided whereas the government of kerala permits post mortem from 8 am to 5 pm only medical legal advisor committee of the ministry of home affairs based on the opinion of standing committee of forensic medicine in the bureau of police research and development has recommended that the present practice of doing post mortem during day time be continued this debate of night post mortem again started after issuance of the letter by the ministry of health and family welfare government of india dated 15 november 2021 because now the committee again gave that the post mortem can be conducted in night if infrastructure is available equal to the daylight this issue has been examined by a technical committee in director general of health services ministry of health family welfare government of india it has been ascertained that some institutes are already performing night post mortem in view of rapid advancement and improvement in technology especially availability of required lighting and infrastructure for post mortem performing night time post mortem in hospital is feasible <clears throat> therefore it has been decided that post mortem after sunset can be conducted at hospitals which have the infrastructure for conducting such post mortem on regular basis the fitness and adequacy of infrastructure shall be assessed by hospital in charge to ensure that there is no dilution of evidentiary value however cases under categories such as homicide suicide rape decomposed bodies and suspected foul play should not be subjected for post mortem during night time unless there is law and order situation post mortem for organ donation should be taken up on priority and be conducted even after sunset if adequate infrastructure is available it is also 
to be ensured that video recording of postmortem shall be done for all night time postmortem to rule out any suspicion and preserve for further reference for legal purposes this time this is the uh, naye packet mein beche cheez purani phir bhi hum din hamara dil hindustani this time they um, issue the order in the head of the women organ transplantation on november 15 2021 indian government notified a change in the country's postmortem protocols the new protocol allows for postmortem procedures to be conducted after sunset before this autopsies were conducted before sunset unless law enforcement agency had explicitly permitted otherwise carrying them out at night as a result organs of many potential donor were not eligible for transplants since the window for the organ harvesting and preservation is short the revised rules are expected to boost organ donations but at the same time official policies on this front have not gone far enough to address many problems that we said this activity human organ transplantation in brief recognize uh, act 1994 recognizes the cadaver transplantation recognizes brain stem death prohibit unrelated live donors allows the preservation of harvested organs for purpose of transplantation permit live donors when they are the spouse or son or daughter or father or mother or brother or sister of the recipient also allows the unrelated live donor by reason of affection and attachment towards recipient or for any other special reasons with the approval of authorization committee regulates the hospital where removal storage and transplantation of human organs are performed by constituting the appropriate authority provides for punishment for any violation of the act in case of human organ transplant before removing the organ from the donor it should be ascertained that it is not against the expressed wish of the donor valid consent of donor near relations is obtained clinical death is at present understood and accepted is established for cadaver it is desirable that in case of medical legal cases or a possible post mortem examination no organs should be taken without a legal permission from the investigating officer the deceased person's consent during his or her lifetime should have been given and or no wish to contrary to be expressed regarding organ donation a positive consent of the next kin should be obtained and no other relative should be opposed the idea the consent of the person lawfully in possession of the body has to be taken in cadaver transplantation most often the organs are harvested from victims of road traffic accidents and other such medical legal cases in such situation the custodian of the bodies of the victim is the state which has a duty to establish the cause of death the investigating officers as a representative of state after conducting the inquest send the body for post mortem examination to determine the cause of death when the body is handed over to the post mortem examination it is the autopsy surgeon who decides which are the organs to be retrieved retained for visceral examination and histopathological examination to fix the cause of death in section 4 of the transplantation of human organ act it is stated that organ cannot be harvested when an inquest is required however section 6 stated that when a body is sent for post mortem examination for medical legal purposes by reason of the death of such person having been caused by accident or any other unnatural cause or pathological purposes the authority who is lawful holding the body should decide whether organ could be harvested for therapeutic purposes if they are not required for determination of the cause of death he should also be satisfied that the deceased person had not expressed before his death any objection to any of his human organs being used for therapeutic purposes after his death or where he had granted an authority for the use of any of his organs for therapeutic purposes after his death such authority had not been revoked by him before his death transplantation of human organ act is ambiguous in stating the role of investigating officer 
and the autopsy surgeon in permitting the organs from the medical legal victims to be harvested at present organs from such victims are harvested after certification of brain stem death and getting the consent of legal heirs of victim and investigating officer if organs are harvested in hospitals where there there are no post mortem facilities the body is shifted to another hospital where such facilities are available and body is opened up again during the autopsy main lacuna in this procedure was that an investigating officer without the advice of forensic medicine expert decides whether organs can be harvested from a victim of medical legal case and this was addressed by the amendment of the human organ act 2011 in which the word tissue was also incorporated and now it's a transplantation of human organ and tissue act 2011 important amendment under act are as follows the tissues have been included along with organs near relative definition have been expanded include grand children and grand parent also provision of retrieval center and their registration for retrieval of organs from deceased donor tissue bank shall also be registered provision of swab donation included there is provision of mandatory inquiry from attendants of potential donor admitted in icu and informing them about the option to donate if they consent to donate in form retrieval center provision of mandatory transplant coordinator in all hospital registered under act to protect vulnerable and poor there is provision of higher penalties has been made for trading in organs constitution of brain death certification board has been simplified where the neurophysician and neurosurgeon is not available then an anesthetist intensivist can be a member of board in his place subject to the condition that he is not a member of the transplant team national human organ and tissue removal and storage network and national registry for transplant are to be established there is provision of advisory committee to add and advise appropriate authority enucleation of corneas has been permitted by trained technician act has been made provisions of greater caution in case of minors and foreign nationals and prohibition of organ donation from mentally challenged persons the main lacuna of the procedure was that an investigating officer without the advice of forensic medicine expert decides whether organ can be harvested from a victim of medical legal case but this was addressed by amendment 2011 by providing the authority to registered medical practitioner working in hospital in case or removal of organ or tissue in hospital wide section 3 and providing authority to competent person not specifically to investigating officer in those cases in which removal of human organ tissue or both from body is sent for post mortem examination for medical legal or pathological purposes authority for removal the competent person person competent under this act to give authority for the removal of any human human organ tissue or both from such dead body may if he has reasons to believe that such um, human organs or um, tissues will not be required for the purpose of which such body has been sent for post mortem examination authorize the removal for therapeutic purposes of that human organ and tissue of both of the deceased person provided that he is satisfied that deceased person had not expressed before his death any objection to any his organ or tissue being used for therapeutic purposes and after death or where he had granted an authority for use of any of his organ tissue or both for therapeutic purposes after his death such authority had been revoked by him before his death this is donor donor after our brain stem death there are two type of the donor organ donation is practically possible in situation of brain stem death but this is not dealt by the um, autopsy surgeons another donor are donor after cardiac death practically in indian scenario only tissues are donated after cardiac death but few centers like vi chandigarh has started tcd this is the time interval there is huge storage of organs available for carrying out transplants as compared to the number of patients who requires the organ transplant there is huge gap between the demand and supply of organs 
there is a need to promote deceased organ donation rather than relying on living donors because of risk of commercial trading and inherent risk to the health of live donors. Cadaver organ donor transplant can be done from brain stem dead persons before the heart stop beating. Yes, sir. Brain stem death is recognized, this is concluding in paragraph, sir. Recognized as a legal death in India under transplant of human organ and tissue act, like many other countries, which has revolutionized the concept of organ donation after death. After natural cardiac death, only few organ or tissues can be donated, like cornea, bone, skin, and blood vessels. Whereas after brain stem death, 37 different organs can be donated. Why I call it a new packet me? Because to allowing night postmortem on the name of the organ transplantation will not short window for the organ harvesting and preservation fruitfully. Because in medical legal cases, registered medical practitioners cannot take decision before receiving the inquest papers and police papers practically never received within six hours, which is crucial period for organ and tissue harvesting. There is a huge shortage of organ available for carrying out transplantation as compared to the number of patients. There is gap, but circular issued on dated 15th November 2021 for conduction of night autopsy will not fill up the gap between demand and supply of the organ. Because after natural cardiac death, only few organs can be transplanted. The other factors which will impede the implementation of government circular are the riders mentioned in the letter itself. These are government has to be decided that postmortem after sunset can be conducted at hospital which have infrastructure for conducting such postmortem on regular basis. No infrastructure is available even for, for the daylight also. Fitness and adequate infrastructure extra shall be assessed by hospital in charge. Note even that cases under categories homicide, suicide, rape, decomposed body, and suspected foul play should not be subjected for postmortem during night time unless there is law and order situation. Nowadays, the broad dead accident cases are more suspicious. So, in suspicious cases, postmortem should not be conducted in the night time. As far as possible, postmortem examination should be performed in the daylight and not in artificial light. However, in hospital in charge, in short, to provide infrastructure and light equal to daylight and also ensure that fitness and adequacy of infrastructure is such that there is no dilution of evidentiary value. Then autopsy surgeon, if satisfied, there is no foul play and legal hair ready to do last right during the uh, night time, then night postmortem can be useful for purpose of relieving the aggrieved. Thank you.